Good morning. I'm Roger Numbers. Guinea worm could be gone by 2010. So we are narrowing it down uh, very rapidly, and there's no reason why the trend downward shouldn't continue to zero. The Carter Center's health education campaign cut cases from more than 3 million in 1986 to around 4,000 today. Kelly Callahan of said center joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. Can you explain how the guinea worm works? Sure. What happens is the male and female guinea worms mate in the stomach and the male dies and the female grows to over a meter in length, so about three feet. And then she starts moving to the area where she's going to emerge from the body. And all three feet of that worm are basically larvae. So then she begins to come out and she basically looks like a piece of spaghetti. The blister she emerges from over the next 30 to 60 days is painful and hot. She's also called the fiery serpent. You want to cool the area by putting it in water. The eggs get in the water, someone drinks the water, and the cycle repeats. If people filter their water, that contaminated water is not ingested, and then the cycle of guinea worm stops. So you worked with communities and ministries of health. Now that you're almost done with guinea worm, any plans to use that infrastructure with other health issues? We're using the guinea worm infrastructure to assist in other diseases like trachoma, river blindness. In Ethiopia, we combined it with a malaria program. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. That's all from us for now. We'll be right here tomorrow morning. Brought to you by the Lexus Hybrids and the Power of H.